two-time Preakness winning trainer Steve Asmussen joins me here. He will be sending out the most likely favorite in Epper Center. Game second in the Kentucky Derby did get nabbed late. Steve, how did he come out of the race and how do you reflect on his effort now that you've had some time to digest it all? Uh, <laughs> well, obviously we're very proud of Epicenter and who he is and the races he's run this year, but it, it was disappointing to be in that position, feel as confident as we did and not come away with the victory. But Rich Strike ran the better race and is the deserving winner and we will gladly regroup and to uh, try to represent well in the Preakness. Well, we're very glad to have you here. Tell me a little bit about how Epicenter has continued to develop for you and how proud you are of his efforts thus far. He, he's a, to me, a beautiful physical, great mover, um, did a lot going into the Derby to in the quick turnaround, 14 days from the Derby to the Preakness, just keep him happy and loose and smooth and, That'll be easy to do, and we expect, you know, he, he's, his appetite has stayed good. Um, he's been himself in the barn, and uh, give him a light half mile Monday morning, and then uh, van from Churchill to Pimlico early Tuesday. Oh, looking forward to seeing him arriving. Now, the Winchell family, they were second in the Preakness last year with Midnight Bourbon. How special would it be for you and your team to get them that elusive Christmas victory? Well, the Winchell family and my family go back uh, a long ways. Um, it doesn't get any better than the team that they've assembled and uh, the opportunities they continue to give us with top class horses. Classic victories are in our future and I'm just uh, very fortunate to be associated with them. Well, let's hope uh, they get that elusive middle jewel of the Triple Crown uh, coming up shortly. Steve, thank you so much for your time and can't wait to see you here at High Hope in the Gulf. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.